I'm shooting a music video for What I Want. It's a song off my album. Uh, and I approached Brantley Gutierrez a few months ago. Brantley's an old friend of mine. He's done a lot of photo shoots for Arcade Fire. And then he just proposed this idea of the uh, ray gun gentrification of the world. Um, essentially turning a children's CBGBs into a lovely J. Crew. Today, I could have gone to the beach, but instead, I chose to come make a music video. <laughs> One kid, like I think it was like a six-year-old kid, came in and was like, "Give me the mohawk," and like they brought out the clippers and like, and like now dye it red. <laughs> You're like, oh, "All right, throwing down." I was the farthest thing from a punk kid. Not the farthest thing from a punk kid. I had friends who were punk kids. Um, I had friends who would like Elmer glue their hair up into the giant mohawk, but uh, I myself have kept my hair relatively short and never smoked a cigarette. The kids were so good. You never know with uh, a big group of kids if their attention span is going to hold or how it's going to go, but I think they all had a good time dressing up and doing the whole punk thing and there was an arcade that they were running in and out of all day and it was pretty awesome. The very little kid who played um, Andy Warhol was pretty awesome. He was kind of melting down by the time he was up and we were trying to get him out of his stroller. <laughs> I was like, hey! What's your name? And he was like, Andy Warhol. And I was like, oh, is that your real name? He's like, no. And I was like, so what's your real name? He's like, Andy Warhol. <laughs> what's your name? My name is Andy Warhol. The only band I'd ever played in before the Will Butler band was Arcade Fire. So this is only my second band. So my wife's sister, one of my wife's childhood friends, are on keyboards. They're both five foot tall, five foot one. Ladies, size six shoes. One's blonde, one's brunette. And then a really tall drummer who drums standing up. I feel like we have a strong aesthetic and it works musically. Yes, tiny ladies and standing drummers and everything. And uh, yeah, it's great. It's been really fun to put a band together. I just went to Will's show last night and I I've never been in a situation where I was compelled to actually get out of my seat and dance. And we did, like by the end of the show, none of us could stay sitting. So he's definitely, uh, he's definitely doing something right. It's really hard to find someone that you relate to and that's someone whose work you like. And that's basically why I called up Brantley. She's like, oh, I trust Brantley. I don't have like time to like dig deep. I have this relationship, let's do it. It's, it's very old world business where it's like all, everything involves like kisses on the cheek and like promises and naming of children and things like that. You think of doing a music video and you think of like, being sexy and like the girl some guy's in love with and like it's some romantic love story. I have now done two videos where I'm playing weird, sort of psychopathic people. I don't know what that says about me. I just have had so much fun. Like I, I, I told uh, Brantley when he called, I was like, you're gonna make me exponentially cooler by letting me be in this video. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that'll be the truth. <laughs> yeah. Um, the light of evening, Lissadell, great windows open to the south. Two girls in silk kimonos, both beautiful, one a gazelle. But a raving autumn shear is blossomed from the summer's wreath. The oldest is condemned to death. The younger, oh, I forgot the rest. <laughs>